Telematics is the industry-wide name given to systems that link telecommunications and information technology to provide services for the customer. We've combined a complete range of communications functions within one unit, the RT3. Within Citroen, this system is called Navidrive. It uses the RT3 to receive and send information via the Global Positioning System, GPS, and the Global System for Mobile Communications, GSM. Depending on the country, the customer can contact a call centre, and if the owner has subscribed to a specific Navidrive contract, the vehicle can be located. Citroen Online, Karina speaking. Hi, I'm driving around trying to find a Lloyd's Pharmacy. Can you help? Yes, I'll conduct a search and send the address directly to your navigation system. Goodbye. With telematics developed for the C2, C3, C5, C8 and future vehicles, Automobile Citroën offers a range of innovative services for drivers and passengers. Fully integrated into the vehicle's dashboard, the Navidrive option is a new generation multimedia audio system. It combines navigation, audio, trip computer, address book, hands-free telephone, and a configuration function, thereby bringing a complete range of services into the vehicle. The fingertip controls behind the steering wheel or the voice-activated interface are used to switch from one mode to another, thus ensuring safety and operating comfort. Let's take a closer look at the system. The front panel comprises several items. An on-off push button which rotates to adjust the volume. Five audio adjustment and selection buttons. An SOS emergency call button. A chevron button for accessing the Citroen services menu. Telephone on-hook and off-hook buttons. A number pad for dialing telephone numbers and for selecting radio presets or CDs from the auto changer. Eight multifunction buttons used to configure menus, search for radio stations and select CD tracks. A rotary control used to move around the menus and then press to confirm the selection. And a SIM card holder. Finally, depending on the Navidrive version, an infrared receiver can be used to download data from a PDA. The Navidrive unit consists of various modules. Motherboard, radio frequency cards for GPS and GSM, AM FM tuner, a second tuner for level 3 versions using the color screen, audio amplifier, CD player for audio and navigation CDs, while the front panel controls the communications protocol on the vehicle area network known as VAN. If the permanent power supply is cut off, a backup battery supplies the radio frequency module and ensures emergency calls can still be made. Incidentally, Navidrive wiring is modular to suit the vehicle and its equipment level. Three different types of additional connector may be found in the back of the multi-block. The temperature of the Navidrive unit is monitored by sensors. Fans cool the unit when required, but their design and location differ depending on the vehicle. For example, on the C8, a fan is mounted on the right-hand side. Whereas on the C5 and the C3, cooling is performed by two fans mounted in parallel and located above the unit. On the C8, a separate and additional control panel can be used to navigate around the menus. For ease of use, it's located on the centre console, adjacent to the gear lever. Pressing the mode button scrolls through the various menus. Alternatively, turning the central dial has the same effect. Pressing it then confirms the menu selection. 
Press the escape button to go back to the previous screen. For safety and convenience, the COM2000 also incorporates the main Navidrive controls. These buttons are used to perform automatic radio frequency searches and select CD tracks. Behind these buttons, on the reverse side, are two more controls that adjust the volume. Pressing both buttons together mutes the volume, which can then be restored by pressing one of the buttons. Pressing this button changes mode. And it's also used to answer the telephone and end the call. Furthermore, it confirms selections made from a menu. The small wheel is used to move a highlight around a menu prior to confirming its selection. Two multifunction screens are available depending on equipment level. A monochrome screen or a colour screen. The displays are no longer connected to the comfort van. They are now controlled directly by the Navidrive unit, either via a CAN connection in the case of the monochrome screen or via an optical link known as the MOST for the colour screen. As you may know, fibre optics allows extremely high data transfer rates. Both screens are fitted with an integrated brightness sensor that adjusts the display to suit the ambient light. There are different types of aerial that can be fitted depending on the vehicle. On the C8, a dual-function aerial located at the rear of the roof provides GPS reception and GSM reception and transmission. AM-FM reception is provided by an aerial located in the rear quarter-light window. Other vehicles use a tri-function aerial. A microphone with integral pre-amplifier is located behind the grille adjacent to the front interior lamp. It is used for the hands-free telephone function and for voice commands. Telephone. Debbie. Calling. Hello. Hi, it's me. I'm running a bit late and I won't be there for another half an hour at least, um, but I'll stop off and pick up Nick from school. See you later. For vehicles equipped with the colour screen and using Navidrive version 5.4 or higher, a video input is available. However, video input must be configured using Lexia or Proxia. On most vehicles, the video connectors are found in the glove box. Different types of input, such as a video camera, DVD or a games console, can be used. The optional CD changer lets you listen to a CD while still receiving directions from the navigation system. At the next junction, turn right. The navigation function requires position and movement information transmitted by the GPS satellites. Information relating to speed and distance travelled is provided by the rear wheel sensors. These send signals to the ESP or the ABS, which then transmits them via the CAN to the BSI. The BSI sends them to Navidrive via the multiplexed comfort van. Interestingly, Navidrive doesn't have a gyroscope to provide directional information. This comes from recent GPS data. Whenever reverse is selected, a signal is sent to the Navidrive unit from the reversing light switch on the gearbox. Radio. Memory. 4. Using around 30 keywords stored in Navidrive, the system can be controlled through voice commands. A radio station or a CD track can be selected. 
a call can be made or a route can be calculated to someone's house, provided their details are stored in the Navidrive phone book. To activate voice commands, press the end of the lighting stalk. An audible beep signals that the Navidrive unit is waiting for a command to be spoken. The voice recognition system is available to the user in several languages. A sustained press on the stalk will speak the last text message. This facility is known as text-to-speech, or TTS. A new voice synthesizer function is used, which can read text word by word. I am in a meeting. The reports are now all up to date. See you tomorrow. Helen. The Navidrive unit is therefore able to announce all text messages, as well as giving navigation instructions and street names. Turn right, Acacia Avenue. In some countries, pressing the Citroën Chevrons button provides access to a range of services. For example, it may be possible for customers to call the online help service for guidance on how to use their telematic system. Press the menu button. Select Telematics, then TMC Traffic Info, and activate Traffic Info. The Message Received function is used to view messages received in a special V-card format, specific to Navidrive, which starts navigation towards a specified destination, for example a hotel. If the customer hasn't subscribed to a Navidrive contract, pressing and holding the SOS button initiates a call to the emergency services, but without giving the vehicle's location. Call initiated. Release. If the customer has subscribed, the vehicle will be located automatically if a call is made. It looks like you've injured your leg. I'll call the emergency services. Citroen Emergency, hello. Hello, I'm with a cyclist at the side of the road. He's fallen off his bike and seems to have injured his leg. We've located you. The emergency services will be with you in a few minutes. Vehicle location is performed by a text message containing the last five vehicle positions and customer identification. GPS information allows the call centre to ascertain which direction the vehicle is travelling in and its exact location. If the conversation is accidentally disconnected, the call centre is able to return a call to the vehicle. If there's no answer, the nearest emergency services are immediately alerted by the Citroen Emergency Centre. To ensure the telematic system and its services operate correctly, Navidrive must be configured during the pre-delivery inspection. During this operation, Lexia or Proxia, complete with the latest update, must be used to carry out the various steps. By the way, the engine must be running during the procedure. Navidrive is configured in four steps. Step 1 involves downloading the software using the CD-ROM supplied with Navidrive. This step updates the software version, configures the correct language and the language of the voice synthesizer. It's worth knowing that by default, the Navidrive system is configured in French with a female voice. The second step is performed using the diagnostic tool to enable the SOS and Citroen assistance call buttons. This operation will vary depending on the country. Step 3 is for customers who have taken out a Navidrive contract and who have a version higher than 5.3. It involves entering the service's telephone numbers into Navidrive's internal memory. Call numbers must be configured individually using the diagnostic tool. All other numbers are configured during the first step. The final step ensures that the telephone numbers have been correctly configured. Note, at this stage, always refer to the table given in the after-sales documentation. During the PDI, the power level of the Navidrive backup battery must be checked, as it can't be recharged. When renewing batteries, 
be sure to follow the specific after-sales procedure using the diagnostic tool. And remember to initialize the new battery. Before delivering the vehicle to the customer, the telephone must also be tested. Hello, this is Dave phoning for a Navi Drive test. OK, I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me OK? Yes, fine. Thanks very much. Goodbye. OK, bye. During the vehicle handover, if the localised call services are active, it's recommended that an emergency call is carried out using the SOS button. A configuration CD and a navigation CD are supplied with the vehicle. The fibre optic connection to the colour screen is fragile. The cable mustn't be kinked or damaged if the system is to operate correctly. Special care must be taken whenever handling it, for example when removing the Navidrive unit. To do this, remove the upper tray from the dashboard, as well as the central vent, and the vent duct. To avoid damaging the optical connection, slide the Navidrive unit forward slightly, disconnect the multi-block, and then remove the unit. Telematics currently offers a range of services linked to safety, assistance, and leisure activities. In the near future, the internet will be added to expand this range of services.